Morning guys, how you doing? I think you can see it's a bit dark here at the boatyard. So, early start today. Well, I say early start, it's about well, quarter to seven. Uh, but of course, the uh, the mornings are getting darker now, so uh, winter's well on its way. So, we're here. We're at the boatyard, of course. And uh, let's carry on. Here's the boat, look. Let's carry on with these doors. Come on then. Hey guys, uh, as you can see, the doors are stuck on. Uh, I have actually, uh, at this stage, glued the doors to the steel frame. I did record it, but of course uh, the video has gone missing. But I have done the back doors and the side hatch doors and the process is exactly the same. So I'm going to show you the back doors being done because I also recorded that as well. Uh, so uh, so watch that one. It is the entire video of the of gluing the uh, the wood to the metal doors. Uh, but like I say, the process is exactly the same for the back as it is the front. Okay, guys. Let's get the back doors glued up.
Okay guys, so that's the door bonded to the steel outer door. So leave that set now. Okay guys, it's all set. Let's see what we got. It takes five minutes just to set. There we go. Jobs are good. Let's give that ten minutes just to, just to harden off. Here we have it, just where we left it last week. So I was hoping the pixies might have come in the night and finished it off, but they ain't. So uh, right, the plan today, I want to get, obviously you can see I've put uh, a couple of braces across to keep it all shut. But what I want to do today, fingers crossed, is get the trim work round to seal it all up tight uh and then put the bolts on and that'll keep it uh keep it nice and secure so that's the plan so let's get on with that then okay guys so i've just cut a piece to trim that edge so i'll just close the door you can see i've put a little bit of draft seal on it as well there we go and then that just closes onto it like that a little bit of resistance which is what i wanted okay and now i've just cut on the chop saw this piece here as you can see that's going to be the head that goes on there like that and it's cut at 45 and that goes like that and then that will put nicely up to it like that bit of draft excluder Jobs are good. That's right, let's cut this next piece then. So there you go guys, there's the front doors done, all trimmed round and there's a bit of primer, a bit of zinter on there just to keep it all sealed up. I've done the side doors and I've done the back doors so uh, there we go, they're all done, take a look. All looking pretty posh I think, I mean obviously that's just got some uh, zinter on it so it's just got sealer on it at the moment, that white. I mean, uh, again, we will be picking it out in a bit of light grey and a few other colours, but uh, that's just a sealing, so hopefully keeping all that a bit of damp out. And now, of course, as you've seen, the back doors. The bottom, obviously the bottom looks, uh, the bottom rail looks a bit thick, but I've got to cut out um, the uh, ventilation holes in the bottom so there'll be some silver grills going on there and of course that's the back doors in place now so it's coming together you know, before it... oh i'm stopping over tonight by the way there's a bit of dinner a bit of dinner warming up a bit of irish stew with a bit of bread but i'm about to put the gunnel strips down so there they are and obviously you can see that I've got a few more to do. But it's coming on. 
Morning guys, how you doing? I hope you're all well. So, back at the boat again. Obviously come to do a bit more. Blooming weather's absolutely awful. Gotta give you the weather forecast first. I've just got the kettle on as well. But, uh, but the weather forecast, oh my word, don't go out today. It's, uh, I think it's the 25th, 25th of October. And we've nearly had the boat a year. Blow me neck, I mean, where's the time gone? It was only, uh, it was only 12 months ago, Chris and I, we were both talking about, oh, we'll fly this, we'll have this done in no time, but 12 months in, and well, you know where we are. Lined out, still a lot to do though. So, uh, so stick with us and we'll keep plodding on through it. Uh, today, I'm gonna get uh, the cabinet at the foot of the bed built. So what we want to do, we want to have, uh, we want to have, so this is obviously the, the bottom of the bed, the foot of the bed, and there's the, the bulkhead at the bottom of the bed. So we're going to have a TV at the foot of the bed, just here, and then a cabinet above it. So, uh, so that's the plan. There you go, that's probably a better shot. So that's the plan to get the cabinet here on the wall. So join me with that today and we'll make some progress on that. Uh, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Come and have a look at this blooming weather. Crikey and wily. So look at this absolutely horrible autumn certainly is with us now I mean you may not see it on the camera but it's pouring now I think we'll have some snow soon there you go look trees are all turning nice golden brown yeah look another view around the yard right get on with some work then hey guys so there you go a little bit more just thought to give you an update on where we are all i've done is made so let's give you let's give you a bit of a, a distance shot so that's the foot of the bed and obviously you can see i've put a side piece on there all these screw holes will be filled and covered up a little bit of framework ready to receive the front board so as you can see let's see how far I've got that's obviously the edge of the cabinet of the cupboard and what I've done I've created like a sandwich layer so you've got the top piece of wood here and obviously the bottom piece here and all the cables. There's going to be a double socket there underneath. I hope you can see that. So that's the bottom. And then all the cables, of course, feed through here. And there's the uh, there's the USB cable, the internet cable, because the hub's going to be in here as well. And there's a couple of uh, aerial cables. The TV booster is going to be in this cupboard as well, and obviously everything's going to be enclosed behind there. Okay, I'll update you in a sec. Okay guys, so uh, you can see I've put a divider in the cupboard now, so I'm splitting it into two. Obviously this end here is where all the cabling is going to be. Um, so, uh, so it's coming along, sockets going underneath, and obviously here's the front panel to, uh, to cover it all up. So we're getting there. Okay guys, so that's where we are with it now. 
I've put the face on as you can see I've cut a few uh, put a few door openings in it I haven't even seen it there but there we have it obviously there's a lot of sanding to be done and a lot of filling to be done but, and you can see that I've just lined the ply with a little bit of oak edging I'm going to sand all that down now and fill it because remember ours is only a painted finish so it hides a well, I'll say a multitude of sins but you know you got to be quite so precise because nothing a little bit of filler won't put right but there you go right let's make the doors then okay guys so we've got the doors made now it's time to put some in holes in so all i'm using and most people do is just kitchen cabinet hinges so obviously that's the hinge these are quick release ones so obviously there's a there's the backing plate that just clips into the back eventually and then for those of you who don't know there's different types there's loads of different types but that's just a soft closer so when the door hits it it just closes nice and slowly so and that just clips on there like that so that's the unit some of them like howden's for example their clothes is integral there's a few different types so there you go so the hole you're going to drill is 35 mil that's the the drill or should i say that's the drill bit we use to to cut out the holes there's one, as i say there's one i did earlier so you want to measure in from the edge of your door 22 and a half millimetres, 22.5 mil, and typically 100 mil from this edge down, and then that'll be perfect to pop your hinges in. Again, make sure they're nice and square, a couple of screws, jobs are good. This is quite a long door, this is a wardrobe door, so I'm going to put one in the middle as well, so there'll be three in this one, just to keep it nice and straight. Okay, guys, so. Let's get one cut for you. So again, there's our drill bit. Obviously mark out where your hole's gonna go. Beautiful. Now go steady. You ain't got to fall the piece through, just go nice and steady. I always drill, this is just my particular end mill. I drill down till the top of it's just slightly proud with the level of the wood and then I'll get my fit in and I'll try it. There we go. Touch more. There you go guys. Right, I'll get on and drill the rest. So well, there's the uh, wardrobe doors on, even though I say so myself, coat of paint, they look great. And there's the corner cupboard all completed with the door on, sorry about the mess, cleaner ain't been in. And there of course is the cupboard at the foot of the bed with the doors on. Coming together. <laughs>